Only on News 5 tonight, every homeowner in Cuyahoga County gets a letter, and sometimes what they find inside can change the course of their lives. I can't afford that, so I'll have to sell the house and move someplace else. Every six years, the county reappraises home values, and this year, some property values have increased dramatically. It sounds great at first until you realize your tax bill will also go up. News 5's Amanda Van Allen joins us live tonight. And Amanda, some people are seeing serious increases. Danita, I talked to some people who are seeing 80 or 100% home value increases. I even talked to a man whose home value is now 151% more. The conversations are blowing up all over social media. Many people want to know why their property values have increased so drastically. I can't understand how they can do that to a, a person who's been in their home for 19 years. Jim Grzowski says the county increased the value of his home by 151 percent. His house that he says needs lots of updates. They're not really looking at at amenities in the home. It's now worth just under $700,000. Before, it was worth two seventy-five, dollars And that means lots more taxes on his Edgewater home. It'll put my bill over $20,000 a year. <laughs> and I'm just at that point where I'm starting to consider retiring. We have all been stunned by these evaluations. Linda McGlynn lives in Edgewater, too. Her home's increased in value by one third. She put together a list of all the increases for the folks in her neighborhood. 127, 159, 144. I mean, even 65%. And got them together for a meeting to discuss what their plans of action should be. My office has been inundated over the past uh, three days with phone calls. Councilman Matt Zone, who represents Edgewater, is encouraging homeowners to fight back. People are starting to get shot, uh, skittish about how do I make this investment into the future? And I'm really concerned that, uh, that the, the county needs to have good factual, actual data when they do that. The folks in Edgewater say they hope fighting back will be enough. I can't afford that. So I'll have to sell the house and move someplace else. Now, I did speak with one homeowner in Edgewater who does not agree. She says a lot of the homes there are undervalued, and she thinks this is just the county's way of catching up. Now, if you think they did a bad or an improper assessment of your home, either come here to the county building or follow the instructions on the letter they sent you. We are live tonight in Cleveland. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.